All right, I was super nervous about this fight last episode. Uh, let's figure out what's gonna happen. What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius back at it again with Jujutsu Kaisen, episode 23, The Origin of Blind Obedience, part two. Last episode, we ended off with Fushiguro, or Megumi, Yuji, and Nobara all in this incomplete domain with not only the bridge curse, but also the curse womb painting number one one of the three sent by mahito who's intelligent who seems so dangerous who yuji's gonna take on alone so oh man i don't even want to waste any more time i gotta watch this episode real quick though if you guys want early access and full length remember patreon we are four episodes ahead links are in the description remember follow me on all the social medias instagram twitch twitter and tiktok now got a lot of things you guys will see over there don't forget we have a p.o box and all that guys all the info for all that in the description check that out jujutsu kaisen episode 23 the origin of blind obedience part two let's do this make sure i'm recording jesus so it spits like blood. We're laying in some damage, but how are we gonna exercise it though? Oh, do you though? Oh my God. I was hoping you'd rip off its arms right there. And then this Diglett fucking curse. Oh my God, it's like whack a Diglett. Get in Obara? Oh my god, Megumi so clean with it. Yeah, it literally is whack-a-mole. Its body doesn't have much offensive power, yet it's sneaking Obara away right now. She got balls. Okay, Miss Confidence. She does, I know. When they play the music that goes during the commercial cuts, it's so crazy. Oh, this is crazy. Quick dodges. We brothers were tapped. So this is part two? Another curse wound painting? No, curse spirit for sure. Oh, my man is going ham on those diglets. Animation is on another one. A good question to, not a good time to bring it up though another curse womb just a... oh wait hold on hold on okay 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 it's a lot to take in so another sakuna finger it makes so much sense why they would be bringing here but as to why this sakuna finger started killing I mean, did it just get the finger and that's why it's killing or is it killing because the other finger was activated and now it's killing because it had these people marked for literally over 20 years also this is literally direct relation to the old curse when we fought because sukuno was the one who told megumi why did you run you had the potential to beat it when megumi was nervous and scared he's nervous and scared right now but it comes to sumi oh like like damn some have a presence that's overwhelming some keep very quiet Yep. It, it looks just like the old one that had a, a, a Sakuna finger absorb, but this one has slightly different design too. Oh, thank you, Demon Dog. Nuei's coming out too. Oh, so Nuei didn't die from Hanami. Oh, you know you get hard, hit hard when you get knocked into a flashback. Oh, this is recent. Oh, 
Gojo's not the only one. Huh? Huh? It's a good call out. It's a good point. Yeah, that's a good observation. He did go for the sacrifice kind of play. That is a very good point. Dying to win and risking death to win? are completely different that is true mindset is so big wow i love how that related to the baseball game last episode too be greedier oh my hell yes spit out the entire depths of my shadow what really surpassed your oh my lord oh my god The entire depths of his shadow, Megumi's domain expansion, Chimera Shadow Garden. Oh my god, the entire place turns into like Shikigamis, and he has such free range over it. This is like a nightmare. I won't lie, I would hate to be trapped in here, especially against my man Megumi. I love when they play this song. He turned into like a shadow clone, literally, with new way in here too. Double! We can have infinite Shikigami, we can do whatever we want here! <laughs> Tot yeah, we're able to injure Hanami on the arm. I remember that. Totality Claws. That's a badass name. Grab that finger right out. Oh, and then the actual incomplete domain goes away. We're back at the at the br bridge in the river. I am fucking flabbergasted. Oh. <laughs> Sukuna said good. Hey, get some rest. He, 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 he needs to rest up. That was crazy. Delinquent Megumi sitting on a, a mountain of bodies. Oh, is that an older sister? Is that Sumiki? Oh. So they're not even full siblings. They're step step siblings. Oh, uh, I see. Shouts out to Gojo. Hell yeah. <laughs> Look at this man, bro. Unknown, and the origin was unknown. That's horrible. Yeah, she was a good older sister for sure. Oh, that's so sad when you, I know, right? When you have so much you wish you could say to this person that you just can't right now, you know? I feel my man. Uh, that was a crazy little backstory. Fell asleep. Hey, you need some rest, my man. I mean, they're all special grades here, so they're all so strong. Oh, here comes you. Yep. Yep. 
Oh. Oh my god. That's not what I was expecting. Ooh, good hit. That is true. You could just cover it up. Rot techniques, Supreme Art Wing King, Rot? Oh, that episode went by in half a second, I swear to God. That was crazy. Well, that was not what I was expecting for that curse at all. His little brother, the one that Yuji was originally fighting, is more what I would expect for a curse. But him, like, looking very human-like, and then with the back like that, with rot curse magic powers that could turn him into, like, look like web-ish blood-like wings, then it's a die by a wasp? Like, what the fuck is going on, you know? This whole episode was actually insane. Megumi being pushed to his limit and the the change in his strength being his mindset and stuff like that and the related the relate the related posts that we had about the bunt even in the baseball game last episode or two episodes ago was just which is so good like it heavily reminds me of Killua from Hunter x Hunter who is my favorite anime character of all time if you guys were unaware and one of his biggest downsides one of his biggest things that's, that's wrong with his character his character traits for so long is his mindset he's constantly wanting to do the right thing but either the sacrifice of himself or he's not willing to you know it's it's just it's, it's very complicated and i love how it gets into that with megumi and how that little switch is the the growth curve on a jujutsu sorcerer is very is very unique i think gojo said something along those lines and how his chimera dark shadow world domain expansion whatever that was was so dope he had full shikigami shadow control he had full mobility to be able to go com combative like he can like he oh my god and then obviously the beautiful backstory on his sister we uh, i cannot wait for her to be healed up and for us to be able to have that talk and, and conversation with her and for her to see the man that megumi has grown up into because she is a, a great woman and the end the story about so i'm curious i'm curious i am curious megumi's dad is from the zenian clan he hooked up with this woman had a but didn't he already had megumi uh, I'm curious. I'm curious. I need to know a little bit more about that. Maybe I just, I, I'll probably rewatch it, especially during editing. Um, but I'm glad Gojo was the one who stopped in. He got he, the money he got to escape with uh, Sumiki's mother was from the Zenin clan because he was gonna sell um, Megumi over to them. But Gojo stopped it with promise that he was going to be a jujutsu sorcerer and stuff like this it's just it's so deep i was not expecting it to be as this deep and it's crazy i cannot wait to watch this next episode i have to right now if you guys enjoyed please leave a like let me know your thoughts down below other than that i will catch you in this next one dapper squad peace out